the sights. <laughs> and sounds. The sights and sounds of Bayview. 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 Amen. 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 <laughs> Laughter pours out of the cafeteria at the senior center, which for now has been turned into a dance floor. Inside, under the fluorescent lights, near the kitchen, the line dance is in session. Half turn. So here, left foot is up. So you're going to step, half turn. The class is every Friday, just after breakfast and just before the popular catfish and okra is served for lunch. The women dance, but there's nothing country about this line dancing. It's pure soul. They glide, slide, crunch, and shake. Some of the ladies give each other disapproving side stares if others are shaking too much. They like to keep it uniform, in sync. They ignore the older men standing on the sidelines shouting out compliments. Go girls, y'all go, y'all hitting it. You're not dancing? Huh? You're not dancing? You ain't dancing with music. All right then. It's not a show, no matter how it makes you giggle. And that's why the others in the room standing around waiting for lunch or chatting and playing cards can't stop staring. It's how they move. The way their eyes set on something in the distance and their lips start to mumble numbers and whisper steps. So we're going to do it over again. Let's start it from the top. My name is Ella Kendrick and I teach senior line dancing. Let's go. So walking. You have to encourage them. You have to really encourage them to get up and dance. They want to because they can remember you know, the music come on, it could be an old song that they used to hear, and they'll tap their feet. You always have to um, try a different step, not the most difficult, because they are. You try something that's short and easy and they can accomplish that little step, that's what they really like, and they get that big smile on their face, and so it encourages them to, maybe I'll try something more. You know? And so when you see them smile, and they say, oh, I remember that song. <laughs> and they really like that, so yeah, that makes you feel pretty good. Step, half, turn, pivot, one, two, three, and four, and four. Dancing is all about concentrating, listening, you know, you listen and follow the instruction, and concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. My name is S.C. Reed. And can you tell me how old you are? Do I have to tell you that? <laughs> well, I'm in my prime. I guess they were saying that, you know, as you get older, you can't do anything, you know. I wear heels. I love heels. I was born in heels. And sometimes my girlfriend would say, girl, you got on them high heel shoes. I've been wearing them since I was 13. I'm not planning on stopping unless I have to. It used to be 50, where they say you were old. Well. 50 doesn't apply no more. Because I am 76. And we can rock. <laughs> Lots of people have their own flavor, and some of the flavor is it's not appropriate for seniors. You know, we were not trying to do none of them booty scooping and you know, all that kind of stuff. It's good exercise, good exercise for seniors, you know. And I won't name no name. I was in another dance class at one point and I got out because it was just a little bit too wild for me, you know. If I get up in the morning and I feel a little bad, if I sit at home, I feel worse. If I get on up and go on out, I feel better. You know, because sitting around is not going to make you feel any better. I don't have family, but on the other hand, I do because my friends are my family. I don't feel lonely because I have friends that I talk to and stuff. I mean, not lonely for friends, or lonely for male companionship, yeah. <laughs> I'm retired and I come here to stay active. One, two. Shape. My name is Sheila P. Reed, R-E-I-D. You do a quarter turn and you start all over again with grapevine to the right. You can't get in a rut and I don't, I don't want to become those people that's afraid to leave my house or my apartment. Oh, no, 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 no. And then I'll do grapevine to the left. 
you go back three and you jump and you shake three with your hands in the air. You know, I mean, anybody can just move their legs and, and do the steps, but it looks, it looks awful when you do it like that. Hands on the knees, one, two, three. Yeah, you gotta shake your hips and stuff, you know, to the music, and it tells you move to the right, move to the left, shake, you know, so you are supposed to be shaking. What's the point in being straight up and down and dry? Dry meaning that you just making the move, doing the movement, but it looks like nothing. Right foot pivot, up, back, up, back, and that's still a one, two, three. Some of the women are, are widows, you know, but um, we never really talk about it. So it's a lot of um, seniors that um, they've um, lost their um, husbands. I have um, this uh, tattoo behind my left ear and it's a broken heart. I got it in 2010. My husband passed away in 2005, January. Um, it just broke my heart. I'm, I still can't talk about it. it. It just broke my heart because I'll never see him again. So I got that as a symbol. And it makes me, I don't know, it just makes me feel closer by having that uh, on my neck because um, maybe, maybe one day it'll heal, I don't know. But I really can't talk about it because I get emotional. You know, so maybe that's why I keep going, not to think about it, I don't know. And a quarter turn and you start all over again. My name is Marion Reed. I feel like my body has slowed down, but I, I, I don't feel as if I've slowed down. Now I'm on my own and I do what I choose to do, you know, and when I choose and how I choose, you know. There's about three or four people has passed away. I think Evelyn was the last one about two years ago. We think of them because we think we hear the songs that uh, they like. The, uh, 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 Hole in the Wall was Evelyn. In the hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. We were so close to them. Mm -hmm. We were so close to them. It's sad, but yeah, that's the way it is. Well, it has to be good for your memory because you have to sort of remember what's going on, you know. You learn the steps and then after you learn the steps, you can put your own flavor into it. Well, it depends on for how far your flavor go. I might not shake, but it's not that I can't, you see, but I choose not to because I'm okay. So if you want to shake, that's fine. That's why I wear my hair back. Plus, I have hot flashes all the time, so I can't wear my hair out because I sweat. I'm sweating now. <laughs> I forget some things, but not dancing. I don't forget dancing because it, it's, I've been doing it so long and it's just there. Okay, so right, left, curtsy, and cha-cha, step back. The music ends. Some of the ladies find a chair to sit and gently rub their knees. Slowly, the lunch crowd of seniors begins to fill the room at the senior center. Some with canes, others in wheelchairs, and others who had been sitting there the entire time just watching these ladies who line dance, moving in time to aging, refusing to wear their age like some sort of uniform. Their friendships, their stories, their bodies change, but there's still that thing inside that calls them to move. Mm -hmm. 